In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to import tileable backgrounds or textures from the internet and use them to create textures for buildings or pieces of your work in Flash. Now, I'm going to take you to a site that has free, royalty free, you don't have to pay for it, you don't have to get permission to use it. This is all free backgrounds at allfreebackgrounds.com. And you should always be aware of the licensing and this is free to use. You have to download it, you can't link to it. So you can look that up, but these are free to use. And they have different colors you can look at and they have different patterns. Often in Flash, brick is going to be a very popular one. Marble is also very popular and I'm going to use water and wood. We're going to download three. I want you to download any one of the brick patterns that you like. Personally, I'm going to take the red brick and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to save image and I'm saving it to I'm going to save it as brick and just to make it easy to find for this video, I'm going to save it right to my desktop. I'll move it or delete it later. So I'm going to save it and then it is here on my desktop as brick so I'll be able to grab it. I also want to select marble I like the green ones. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to save image as and marble 15 is fine. I'm going to save it to the desktop and then I'm going to look for water and I like this one. I'm going to save the image as water 11 and I'm going to save it to the desktop. So I now have three images on my desktop. I'll actually bring them over here so you can see them. They're right there. Save to my desktop where I can find them and use them easily. To be able to use them as a bitmap fill, I actually have to save them in the library. To do that, I'm going to select File, oh I'm in Finder, not Flash, okay Flash, File, Import, Import to Library. And it will actually allow me to select all three of them at the same time. First I have to go to my desktop. And then they're right here. And I can hold the shift key down, select all three, and hit open. Then all three are in here. And the important things that, thing about these is that they're meant to be tiled so they'll lay next to each other just like putting tile on a floor and they should appear to be seamless. To use them as fills for my three shapes which are simply rectangles with no fill inside them that I've already saved on the screen and I've changed the directions of a couple of the rectangles to show you how we can use the um, gradient transform tool with the bitmap fills to change directions and resize. To use them, I have to select from my color swatch and they appear in the bottom. Unfortunately you can't see it, they're to the right down here but you can see how it's previewing up here. See when I hover over it I can select that and that's become my fill. Don't worry about the white edges, they're not going to show up and then I will use my fill bucket tool and I will click here. Now I want to be able to change the bricks so they're going in the same direction as my shape. So I'm going to use the free transform tool, the gradient transform tool directly beneath it. I'm going to select it and I can change the directions and basically align this so it's parallel and then I could also make them a little bit bigger, make them smaller, I could actually angle them if I wanted to, 
and I can have them change to fit in to this area. So I'm going to do that a couple more times for each of these fills. So again I'm going to go into my fill color. I'm going to select marble. You can see it appearing up there. Oops. I didn't deselect that. I should have clicked off of it first. So I'm going to select marble. I'm going to use my paint bucket tool and I'm going to fill it in here. That looks really good to me right now. But I can again use the gradient transform tool, select this, and I could change its orientation. With marble it's not as important as with brick, but I could stretch it out. I can shift it around to make the pattern bigger or smaller. And in my final box I'm going to select the water tile that I found, and I'm going to put that in here, and again gradient transform tool. I can change direction, I can rotate, I can put it smaller ripples, or I can really stretch it out to make the ripples change angle, change width, and give me any texture that I'm looking for. And this can be great for creating textures and shapes. Something that I do like to do if I'm making a building, once I'm done, I delete the black lines because I don't want a sharp edge. So you can double click on the lines and you can delete them so that you don't have the lines appear in your image. And that's how to use a bitmap fill.